Good start. Hey friends, welcome back to the farm. I am finally getting to filling my Vajega garden bed. Remember last fall when I did a quick little review where we put this together? It was too late in the year to get a garden going. So we have been waiting all winter long to get to this project. So the farmer and I went to town and we decided to get some rock to throw in the bottom for good drainage. Then we got some topsoil and added. And then I thought to myself, hmm, I've got these pots from last year and I'm wanting to redo what's in them. So I'm gonna add those in and just give it a layer of some softer, soil it was more of like a potting soil that i really had used in there and thought i could mix that in to make ourselves a nice garden bed so it was kind of like a lasagna where it was rock top soil then some potting soil and then i'm going to go ahead and put on some more of the top soil before i get to planting i'm so excited to get my hands in the dirt it's been a long time awaiting it's been a long winter hey everyone welcome to this beautiful day here in northeast kansas i have a very small amount of time between all the projects going on and i thought you know what i've got to get some more of these seeds planted for the seed survival collaboration and so thought maybe you guys would like to just come along with me. kidney beans which I've never grown before I thought that would be fun I've got beets which I love and the Waltham butternut squash this is the one that makes me a little nervous I'm not really sure how to handle this so I think I'll just start by opening it up and seeing what I have I've heard that you can trellis these Got this pea trellis up here that as the peas die out, maybe some squash could come through. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seeds. So I'm gonna take half of those because I might decide a different place. I think what I'll do. Beans, they'll all go up. So I have 
several of these, and these are Detroit Reds, and I know they're good because I've grown that kind before. And what I think what I'll do is I'm just going to kind of take a, take a little trench. But I need to mark the rows. And I can't really believe it, but look here. The other day, can you see that? The other day I planted peas. I've already got one up. Okay, now all we have left is the beans. probably plant all of them. I think it's going to take, yeah, there's not a huge amount of them. Let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So maybe two rows of beans, I'm guessing. And my plan for these will just be to plant them only to get seeds off of them to be able to have more for next year. I'm probably going to plant those pretty close together. put in our garden before the next rain. Thanks for coming along with me, friends. We have had several days of rain, so I thought I'd come check the garden and I'd bring you with me. Well, I'm starting to see some green stuff pop up to you. There's a pea. And I believe we've got beans here, green beans. coming there. A few more peas. I don't know if they're going to do very good here. The ones behind will do fine, but the rain really hits down hard here. Clarence strawberry starts, peppers, and tomatoes were gifted to me from a sweet friend. So glad you could be here with me.